Let us see this question from the topic the sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression. Here question is if the pth term of an AP is 1 by Q and the qth term is 1 by P show that the sum of PQ terms is half into PQ plus 1 where P is not equal to Q. Question is very interesting. Let us see the solution. Here what is given? First of all you see what is given here? Given pth term of an AP is 1 by Q. pth term is written like this Tp. So, here Tp is equal to how much given 1 by Q. So, this gives or we use a formula here we can use a formula Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. You know A is the first term D is the common difference. So, in place of Tp you can write A plus P minus 1 into D. Okay? A plus P minus 1 into D. So, therefore, A plus P minus 1 into D this is equal to 1 by Q where A is first term and D is common difference. Okay? Also here given that Qth term is 1 by P. Also given that Qth term is 1 by P. And by the same formula Qth term is A plus Q minus 1 into D. So, A plus Q minus 1 into D this is equal to 1 by P. Here we are trying to get the values of A and D which will be used for finding the sum of PQ terms. Okay? So, here we will evaluate, you will find out the values of A and D. Okay? So, now subtracting these two relations, subtracting A will be cancel out and here P minus Q into D is equal to 1 by Q minus 1 by P and 1 by Q minus 1 by P is P minus Q by PQ. Okay? And therefore, D is equal to how much? You see P minus Q D is equal to P minus Q PQ. So, P minus Q will be cancelled out from both the sides. So, D is equal to 1 by PQ. We are getting the value of D here. Now, we will try to get the value of A. So, in this relation, let us put value of D, we will get value of A. Let us name it, suppose this is 1 and this is 2. So, we can write here by relation number 1 and here we are subtracting. So, we can write here 1 minus 2. Okay, so, for the clarity and uh, by this relation 1, a is equal to how much? A is equal to 1 by Q minus this term will be transposed to right side. So, minus P minus 1 and D is 1 by PQ. By simplifying it, we will get the value of A or A is equal to here LCM is PQ. So, here P minus Q, this is P. Okay? So, P plus 1. So, plus P and minus P will be cancelled out. So, we are getting here A is equal to how much? 1 by PQ. We are getting value of A here. So, values of A and D both are equal to 1 by PQ. Same. So, no problem. Okay. Now, but we have to find out sum of PQ terms. So, we can use this formula by the formula SN is equal to N by 2. 2a plus n minus 1 into d. This is the formula for finding the sum of n terms. So, in place of n terms, we have to write pq. We have to find sum of pq terms. So, therefore, therefore, s pq is equal to n by 2. So, pq by 2, n is pq, pq by 2, 2a. So, 2 a is 1 by PQ. So, this is 2A. 
plus n minus 1 means p q n is p q. So, n minus 1 means p q minus 1 into d, d is 1 by p q. Okay. Let us simplify it. So, this is p q by 2 and inside the bracket LCM will be p q here, LCM is p q and here in numerator this is 2 plus p q minus 1 clear and this p q will be cancel out. So, we are getting here this is p q 2 minus 1 is plus 1 divided by 2. So, we are getting the answer here. Therefore, S P Q is equal to half of P Q plus 1. That was required here. Sum of P Q terms means S P Q is equal to half of P Q plus 1. So, we got the result. So, this is proved now. Correct. Very interesting, very simple question. Hope you have understood it very well. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this video.